Drawings and Little Stories by Iris. That's me. Lazy Lizard is surprised by Burner Bird's visit. I heard that you were feeling weak and didn't even join the lizard's crawling contest, flapped Berta. Lazy laughed. <laughs> I am just faking being sick. I've been winning that contest every month. I want to give the other lizards a chance to win the big berry prize. <laughs> Grandpa Owl is a little upset with little Etta and Alto. <laughs> they were making so much noise because the fried chicken they got from the farmer was too hot. <laughs> Look at all of the animals looking at you. One of them could be a carnivore who likes to eat owls. <laughs> who did Grandpa Owl? <laughs> the little owl's eyes get wider when they realize the danger. Bultiri Vulture is very angry because five parrots were gossiping about him. They told all the birds in the forest that Bultiri eats garbage and dead carcasses. <coughs> Professor Eagle promised his friend that he will teach all the animals. That because of the vultures, the environment is clean. And there is no stinky, rotting smell around them. Wake up, bird world! Join our parade! Let's march and dance and sing until Mr. Sun goes down! Tweet, tweet! Let's celebrate today! The Bird of Paradise Band is very happy to be alive every day. They should choose another tuba player before the huge instrument squashes Tiny Sparrow. Maybe a tambourine is best for her size. Cookie Cockatoo is so excited to see her best friend, Dory Duck. I just came to invite you to our rainforest grand party. to disappoint you, wah, wah. but I'm still waiting for the rest of my eggs to hatch. Chikatina and Chico here came out too early, wah, quacked Dory Duck. Look, some human left some bread, squawked Henna Hen. the hungry birdies. Mr. Rooster doesn't look so eager to try the bread. <laughs> I don't know if it's good for us to eat. <laughs> he cackled. I hope the farmer comes back fast. Bread isn't very good for birds to eat.
what? <laughs> Sunshine outside is surely good for the little eggs. Bah, bah, she barked. Featherbird to the huge magical Mr. Oak Tree. The acorns are glad that the squirrel is busy playing instead of eating them. They forgot that after play, Squella will surely be very, very hungry. Uh oh! Beto Bird is trying to convince Mrs. Duck and her ducklings to eat the luscious berries from his garden. The ducks were curious about the berries, but they are used to eating fish from the pond. Should we try it, Ma? These berries look tasty! <laughs> Quacked the cute ducklings. Okay, but let me try them first, my little quackies! Quackled Mrs. Duck. <laughs> There's a very important meeting for all chickens and roosters at the Big Feather Coop. I'll be back before five o'clock, promised Mrs. Chicken to the four little chickadees. Chickadee sisters. We hope drawings and little stories will inspire you and your young ones to capture their cute stories, scribbles, and drawings in your own storybook. Each page will surely take you back down a sweet memory lane. Let's be friends! Drop by my website, irisbenjamina.com. Thanks for watching! Look out for our next Drawings and Little Stories every Monday.